So we did a revamped version of Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Inside the body, the arms are controlled by DC motors that are just mounted in, connected to the arms. Um, and then there's a little servo motor in there that's connected with the linkage to the head. So when all these lights run down, the head pops up. So they just fight, and there's a little magnetic sensor here, magnets mounted on the fist. So when they make contact, you lose health from these LED lights, uh, which is also displayed on the LCD screen here. There's music played for the, for the winner, and the head pops up. So there's accelerometers mounted in each controller um, that's connected to stepper motors down underneath, which controls the motion back and forth of the robot. It's only lateral motion. Yeah, that's right. And then it makes that little noise whenever you get a hit. It subtracts health. Every time there's a hit, there's a random number between one and four that's generated, and that's how much health you lose to add some uh, randomness and fun in the game. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All the lights and the sound are, um, and the hit sensors are being controlled by one pick. Um, the LCD is being controlled by like its own separate pick and mounted behind the LCD. You can't see it from here. But we did that so we only need to put one wire into the LCD screen to run it, and then um, another pick just sends data serially to it. Yeah. And play some music for the end of the game. <laughs> and you see the head popped up, and then there's a reset button that'll pull the head back down, and then play the start music again, and then a new game will start. All the electronics are, are mounted here on um, PC boards. There's one separate pick for each robot, and uh, those go to easy drivers from Sparkfront that run the stepper motors. DC motors inside the shoulders are run through um, transistors, power MOSFETs that run off at 12 volts. Uh, and then there's a main pick that controls the LED driver. You just tell it serially which lights to turn off. That way we only need like two outputs from the pick to control all the LEDs. It's powered by a computer power supply. And that gives us as much 5, five and 12 volts that we need. Oh, and then there's a, a wireless receiver, too. Inside of here, there's a 9-volt battery that um, is regulated down to 5 volts for the pick that's in here. It's, a, it's an 8-pin pick to make it smaller. And then that 5 volts is regulated down to 3 volts for the accelerometer. Um, the accelerometer output is analog. And the pick converts that to a dig digital signal, which is sent over wireless. Oh, well. <laughs> Kicking him while he's down, huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay.